Hello. Whoa, purple eye. Hey, Astrid, thank you for the raid. What were you up to? Let's shout you out. Witch Spring 3? What's that? But thank you. Hope you're well. Oh! What's the oh? Do you know oh, the Witcher 3? <laughs> Oops. Which, well, Witch Spring 3 sounds good too, though. But hello there, everyone. Purple Eye. Who has the. Oh, yeah, he does, doesn't he? Yeah, these cutscenes, they're not the, the nicest of arts, are they? I heard that the uh, the Sharp... I can never remember the name of the console. Was it the Sharp X? Let me look it up now. I really need to remember what this is called, so I just go in the Sharp, watch them call it. No, not the FM Towns, the, the number one. The X86-5000 or whatever it is. X68000, that's it. The Sharp X68000. I've heard the Sharp X68000 version has uh, more cutscenes or whatnot. I don't know about that. We'll have to see. There's only one Fantasy Star, sadly. I thought there was four. <laughs> oh, I'm here for about three hours. There's also some online games as well, but we don't need to know about those. But yeah, we'll continue our journey with Lagoon. Which is a, uh, if you get that, then you can play Chow and Chow. We were talking about that yesterday. It just seems to feel like that's the only, the main game that people talk about. Four is the best. <laughs> this is not a question. But we were in Atland and we just rescued this chap called Gills or whatever his face was. And he wants to hurry up back to the town. But before we do, I'm just going to finish my yappings. But thank you so much for the raid. It's never a problem, although I was in the kitchen. I take what I do is, like, people might wonder, like, why are you talking, like, when you're on that screen? Are you just sitting there, like, rubbing your hands together, like, waiting until it's a certain time? Some of that's true, but that's usually, like, the last minutes or something when I'm sitting down and just having a moment thinking, have I got everything? But usually I'm, like, standing in the kitchen with my phone, so I tend to reply to people while I'm there. It's just my little routine. I like to make a cup of coffee and do some last minute. Usually I, I realise I've not plugged the microphone in or something like that, or I've forgotten my phone or whatever. But I always find if I don't hit go live, then I'll just keep faffing around and never go live and end up later and later and later, like tonight, which is exactly what happened. I'm trying to rate into starting screens, but do or die sometimes. Well, I appreciate it nonetheless. It wasn't so bad though. It's much more stressful when it's literally like, you know, 30 seconds into it. It's like, oh my god, like I'm boiling the kettle. <laughs> but. You know, one should never complain about a raid. As my mother always said. But I digress. Let's continue with our adventure on Lagoon. Which we didn't do very much last night. I literally just did the first dungeon, I believe. And I had a little peek at YouTube of the English playthrough of this. And it was quite interesting because it seems that we've literally done about 30 minutes worth of gameplay. But, you know, I like to take things slow. Not rush into stuff. It doesn't seem to be a very long um, game either. Like some people have finished it on YouTube in like three or four hours. Is it ease style combat? Kind of. It depends which ease you're talking about. But it's like originally it was on the X3068. I've forgotten already. Jelly Duck, where's your thing? Sharp X68000. It was a bump combat like ease, but on this one it's actually push to hit your sword. But it's, uh, I think, well, it is short for an RPG, but then the Ease games are pretty short when you know what you're doing. You can bless through the best of those in about six or seven hours, so. It does give me a lot of vibes like Ease and Zack, the artificial stage, if you know that, which is also a sharp X68000 game, I believe. It's on the PC Engine. It's just got that very early... Well, not early. Well, early, but um, late 80s, early 90s kind of Japanese PC gaming vibe about it. That's why I was curious about it. This is a console port, though, cause so it's the SNES. And this was not actually done by the same people that made the Sharp version. So I've done some reading now, unlike yesterday when I didn't know what anything about the game. But I've done some reading now, and it's actually... The SNES version is made by Chemco. 
And I did know that yesterday, but I didn't put two and two together. That is Kemco, as in the prolific mobile gaming RPG company that we have these days. You know, like As Divine and Hearts, As Divine Hearts 2, and As Divine Saga, and As Divine whatever. All those crazy, crazy mobile games that you can get on Vita and Switch 2 and stuff. So, seems that that wasn't their first four into RPGs. Anyway, John says thank you. Gotta get off to bed. We're good to see you. <laughs> see you later. Thanks for stopping by. I was lurking earlier, but I didn't bother to say hello because I was trying to get in the bath and thought I'd never get going if I didn't scooch on. But I saw you playing, yeah? Dreamcast, Midnight something. I don't know that one. I wasn't really much into racing games outside of. Well, what did I play? You know, I don't even know. I played a bit of Gran Turismo, but never really got into it. Metropolis Street Racer, that's it. Not Midnight. I didn't begin with an M. But thanks for stopping by. But yeah, he says thank you. Um, he managed, to, despite the wound or whatever, but no, thanks to me, he managed to make his way back to the town. By the way, wasn't there a door on the first floor in the cave? I heard the old lady in the prayer room, the worship room, whatever it is, that bitchy lady that we talked to, has mentioned about that door. He's heard her talking about it. If you're, if you're, if you want to know more, you should ask her. See ya. I guess we will. So. I had a little nosy for the first 15, 20 minutes of somebody's English play for this. And the translation seems a bit... Like, it, it never seemed flat wrong, but just a bit wonky. A little bit rough around the edges. But actually, not, not too shabby. There were some funny changes that I noticed, though. What's she got to say? Ooh, rooms about you are going around the town, I think. It's so amazing. You went to face the monsters all by yourself. Oh, you're the hot topic. You're the talk of the town, is that word that I didn't know. Well, there we go. I am a hot topic indeed. But what was I saying? So, the, the bar that we went to yesterday, the pub or whatever it was, is called a, a restaurant in English because, oh, can't have alcohol in a violent RPG. That would be wrong. Did you save gills? Oh, you're amazing. Thanks. But then the other change that I noticed, uh, they changed church to, I think it was place of worship, and it's just like, for God's sake, like, <laughs> really? I'd have thought worship would have been rude. Oh, we've got all this stuff. Banded armor. See, they called that a bandit armor, I noticed too, and I wonder whether I'm wrong. Oh, you saved gills. I'm so glad, aren't we all? Oh, I guess I should also take us out of Lagoon and put us actually in our good friend retro category. Although you never know, it might bring out the hardcore Lagoonies. There we go. So was this the, this was the chief's house. Oh no, this is the restaurant, it's actually a bar. Well, it's a pub. A drinking place. Oh. So she says that the old lady, that old lady in the, I don't even know, what is this word? I can't think of a good way to describe it. It's just like a prayer place. Exorcism place. Yeah. A prayer place. Anyway, when she was younger, she went, apparently she has been through the gold cave to the, the elf plains, I think it is. You know, the elf grasslands. She's been there. Has this lady got a mole on the side of her face that's moving as she talks? That's quite cute. 
But uh, how many hundred years ago was that, I wonder? How old is this old lady then? Wait a minute, did it say she went there or she spoke of it? No, she went there. Sometimes, you know, because it can almost be, in the past tense it can be the same word, but just there's no can just so. Oh, you saved Ke Gills or but I don't want to call him Keith. You ke you saved Gills all by yourself. You're uh, amazing. Good job. Thanks. Time to make all the NPCs sound really insincere, but they are sincere. It seems that you saved Gills. But it seems that my boyfriend's wound wasn't as bad. Wasn't as deep as we thought. Well, that's good. I am glad. You did really well by yourself. Thanks so much. Is she his wife, I wonder? Or just his maid? Who knows? Thank you. I knew it, if it was you, you would be able to do it. Good. Yeah, another change that I saw, what was it? Um, they changed the church to the place of worship. They changed the drinking place to like a restaurant. So very silly changes. Other than that, it seemed all right. I'm also confused about the geography of this town. I guess, is this for boats? Because, like, why would you have an entrance that's just facing the water? I guess it's the beach in the summer. It's actually a nice place. Oh, in order to use magic, you need a cane and a crystal. So, according to rumours, in the town of Boro or something, there is a cane, or a wand, whatever you want to call it, of Earth. A staff of Earth, it seems. I wonder if it's real. Sounds like it will be. Sounds like it will be. But I'll need a crystal. I think I've read something in the manual about that, like you can combine stuff. Oh shit, I didn't mean to talk to her. Yet. I think you can combine staffs and crystals or something and progress the plot. Oh, you're interested in that door? Yes, I am. Oh, what's inside there? Inside there is a monster named Samson. It's quite the name. Oh, a long time ago... I sealed with with Matthias, that old man from the prologue, that old man, me and Matthias, or Matthias, whatever, sealed him away with a key. If you think you have the confidence to defeat him, then take this with you. We've got Samson's key, or the key of Samson. I'm sure it's not Samson's key, because he's been locked away. It'd be a very... Cruel name for a key. I've just got quite a lot to say. So, thanks to the evil water that's been flowing out of Castle Lagoon, Samson is now ever more powerful than he was back at that, back back in that time when I sealed him away. So he's even more powerful now, thanks to the polluted water. And it seems that. Um, He's, been, he's the one that's been calling out all the monsters in that cave. You must not let your guard down, I guess. Mm. 
don't be negligent is a jilted way, but... This is the house of that old lady from the prayer place. Kind of bugging me what else to call that, but... Life's too short. I don't remember the chicken yesterday. And it, yeah, I'm not going to tell you what it says. It's, it's just basically says chicken noises, but I have far too much pride. item shops open now it is oh another potion I guess that's in case you drank it I don't know when she was open though and a stone of light I don't even know what that does what does a stone of light do oh let's see if I can just pull the manual up really quickly I think I still got it in my phone Stones of light. Oh, you can see the staffs here, and they've, sp they've spelt it wrong. They put shraf. Oh, a stone of light restores MP. Okay, that's uh, useful to know. Well, we don't have any magic yet, so it's probably pointless. It's very cheap, though. Maybe we should just get one anyway. I wonder how many you can carry. Let's get one. And we'll get some potions. Can I have more than one? Oh, no. You can't have more than one. Can't have more than one of that, either. Well, whatever. May as well always keep one on me, then. But I guess we'd probably find some in a chest. Anyway. What is that? Is it out or note? Do do do. Was this always the music? Can confirm the English version looks exactly like this. I didn't see the stained glass windows though because you didn't walk up far enough, but. So, Nassil, whatever happens, you mustn't lose heart. God is always watching over you. Mm. Whoops, that's the town elders, isn't it? talk to you. I guess we've talked to everybody now. So I've got nowhere else to go except back in the the mine. And try and kill the first boss. I'm a bit concerned. I've heard one of the bosses in this is not very fun. And people have said, oh, one boss is going to really bother you. We shall see. It might be one of those things, though, when you get it wrong, like, you think something's going to be difficult, but it ends up not being, and something, I have a trouble on a different boss instead or something. What's that? So the oh so Barrow, the village of Barrow is is a uh, where the elves live, and it's upstream from this this town. Yeah, so he's basically saying at the top of the river that flows from here, there was 
a village of the elves called Barrel. But just how do you how does one get there? I have no idea. But he seems to think that's what lies beyond up there, but he's not sure. I think he's probably going to be though. I should probably save just in case. Oh, I keep panicking that it's crashed, but it's because I'm pressing the wrong button and the text box doesn't close. I guess we can just clock on up. So on the first floor of this cave, there's a door that cannot, we cannot open. What doesn't open? Just what is inside there? I know, it's a demon named Samson. Oh, you're really something. I am. Oh, here we go. Here's the fun. Where's the jump? There we go. God. <laughs> It's not as bad as yesterday, though, I think. I'm already feeling it. I, I heard somebody, I was watching like a little mini review. Well, not a review. It was the person playing the English version. And they were talking about... Um, so the sword looks longer there. Wait a minute. Did I get a new sword yesterday or did I dream? I think I had a dream that I got a new sword last night and it was longer. Don't know what that means. Let's not dwell on it. I guess. No, I didn't. But yeah, the person that was playing the English version, I guess he played the sharp... Um, 68,000, whatever it is. And I think he was saying that it's like this was a bump game like Ease and everything has the same hitboxes or something, but because they've changed it like that, but they didn't change the enemy's hitboxes, so it still kind of moves the same way. I guess that's what makes it a bit janky. And there's no iframes either. Maybe I'll go to level up one more before... Maybe I should just try the boss, and if I need to level up then I will. Oh. Wait, where was he? I thought it was over here. I might need to get that map again. I don't even know where it was. Oh no, it was here. Right. 40 away from ha uh, level up, but we should just save. We'll go and kill Samson, whatever his name is. How do you? I haven't even how to use items yet. I did read them on the. Uh, oh, so I've, I've got a potion. Oh yeah, I bought one. Samson's key. I think it's L or R or nothing. I think I just walked him. Oh, is is he going to talk? No. God. What is? Can I move? Oh my lord. If I jump... If I jump... Will it... Yes, it does. Okay. Oh. This is... Very precious. Ouch. Where's his hitbox? <laughs> is it his knee? <laughs> oh. Oh. This is not going very well. I guess we can leave just like ease. Perhaps I'm going to have to level up. I wonder if does my health come back in the boss room if I stand still? Not that I'm gonna get much chance to. Oh my god, I can't even work out where to hit him. As long as you don't keep jumping, that's all right. Oh, stop moving, you bad one. Do you? Oh. Gosh. Does jumping help? No. 
The fact that the problem is, is like walking into him is also hurting. Mm. That's the thing, isn't it? Oh, I didn't save with the key on. I should do that. Save again. <clears throat> you just gotta go for it. Oh my god. He's gonna bump me out of the room in a minute. I don't want to walk into him, but I've got to turn around, you know what I mean? It's kind of BS. Oh! God, his head! Oh no! Is that a new hitbox? He's got an eyeball. It makes no sense that I'd be able to hit his head by standing at the top, though. Oh my god, this sword is wretched. Well, that works. What the fuck? <laughs> Easy. Sort of soft locked him. Samson is defeated. And we got the crystal of fire or flame. Should I go back to town or not? Not. What's this? The entrance to the cave has been sealed up by the earthquake just now. Now we won't be able to go back. Well. Wow. <coughs> Got some new enemies though. They seem to have a lot of health. Maybe I'm under leveled. But how much do they have? 28. Oh, we leveled up from Samson. 28. Four. Not much experience. I like his jump though. Not the cave entrance. Hello, Quantum. How are you? Oh my gosh. What is that? 40, 441. How much do I get from those? No, not you. Four, four, five. Oh, those are five then. Those are the best. Oop. One hundred more. So, fifty more of those flying bugs. That's a lot. What can I not count? No, I can't count. Not 50. <laughs> Stop talking now. A few. Oh, I should get my health back. Was this never released in the West? No, it was. We all suffered Lagoon, apparently. It was released everywhere. It was released in PAL territories and North America. Nobody was safe. I actually don't mind it though. I think, uh, I can imagine like at the time you'd probably be like, what is this? But like now when you've got nothing better to do, I like finding the quirky stuff. Don't know it. I've never, I mean, well, I've, I've heard of it obviously because I'm playing it, but I'd, and I'd heard of it before, but growing up I'd never heard of it. I don't remember it existing as a kid. Apparently it came out quite late in, the, in Europe apparently because it's a 1991 game in Japan, December or something. Didn't come out in PAL territory until 93, and you think, God, we, we'd moved on by then. There was better things out. I mean, what's 93? 93 is like Secret of Mana. You wouldn't, you'd be a bit sad if you got this instead of Secret of Mana. I would. 
I don't think it's a terrible game, but I think it wouldn't have been back in the day when you only got like one or two games a year or something in a game for like forty pounds or whatever, and forty pounds was a lot of money. This would be a bit of a a disappointment. But now in 2022, playing a random a random little snares game that I've never played before, I think it's quite charming. I'm going to definitely level up before I go on, though. I like the music. That's definitely what is one of the best things about it. It's weird why this got released. I guess action RPGs were generally easy to sell. They could just... Uh, they were probably trying to ride on the heels of Zelda as well. They gave me 2022, they games to 91 and now great. Right? Or we're just old. Always chasing that nostalgia. I'm just going to sort my blanket out at the moment. God, it's getting very cold. I just got my electricity bill today. And it was awful. And I'm very, very, very concerned about the next months. Because uh, I've not used any heating or air conditioning for an entire month. And my bill was like no different from a typical winter month in years gone by. I haven't even used any heating. I'm just like, oh god, I'm gonna, like, run up a crazy bill if I use the heating. It's mad, isn't it? Talking. Like, I talk to my friends, I guess the UK is pretty terrible too, but finally I have to turn on the heater on Friday. I'm scared too. I'm just, I'm dreading it. But hello there. Heel to mop, is it? I had everything off for a while. Yeah, I'm not giving in. I've got my blanket on now, and I've, I've put on a, I've got a pajama, sweater, and a um, a cardigan, and a thick blanket. It's all fine, but like playing video games and like streaming and stuff, it's when you when you get cold hands. What can you do then? Like, we're going to be streaming in gloves. You know what I mean? Our last bill was okay, but I think the government grant might be auto deducted from it. Oh. It's just, I don't know what to say, really. It's just mad, like... Anybody who think we lived in, like, the 1920s or something with what's going on these days with bills, but oh well. There's no point getting upset and stressed about it on Twitch. Oh, get out of the way! What is this supposed to be, anyway? A bug? Like a, a beetle? It's only got four legs. How cold is it where everybody is? Because Japan's still pretty warm. I mean, <laughs> it's at the moment I'm kind of just like, yay, global warming for the winter. It's definitely having an effect because it's usually cold by now, but it's it's still quite moderate. I, I don't feel freezing. No. It feels like autumn. It's still reaching 20 degrees in the day. Have I leveled up or what? Oh, I did, didn't I? Right, well, let's uh, go to the next screen. No, it still feels uh, rather warm. It's start this, the last, like yesterday and tonight, I can feel it starting to drop in the evening, though. It's going to like 10 degrees and below. That's where I'm going to start to get grumpy because I, I always get cold feet and I hate having cold feet. I can't stand it. But I find like slippers or whatever don't help. Once my feet have gone cold, it's just game over. Had a warm autumn here, but finally got a cold and it below freezing snow and it's warmed up since. Where are you based, if you don't mind me asking? Like, you don't have to be super, super specific, but... Oh, I can't. I can't. I see an enemy now to kill it. I'm gonna... Did I say before? I will save again. Eat you out. I mean, the US has been bonkers lately, hasn't it? You've had uh, had heat waves every year. I get so this is Borough, the village of the elves. Ooh, who's that? So apparently to the what is it? The never eat shredded wheat. The west? No, the east. I've got it wrong. To the east of this village. 
end of the river is Philip's castle. And in regards to that castle, I know all there is to know about it. What do you share? There is an old legend about Philip's castle. What's that? A thousand years ago. This is when I would really like some kanji. On that size, I think. Well, it seems that there was a castle. Oh, once in a thousand. Oh, I think I get it now. Once in a thousand years, when the sun hits a specific spot somewhere in that site, the castle will sleep for a year or something. Weird. The way it spaces out the words as well, it fall falls asleep for one year. And there's, an, there's a stone tablet that has a spell on it that can awaken the castle from its slumber. But it's been scattered into three pieces nearby around this town, this village. Hmm. It's very specific, this legend. <laughs> a bit excessive. It sounds like a security system. So it was very unfortunate, but my friends, the castle, the last, the last time the castle fell into a sleep, my friends were in there. But if I had the spell, I would be able to read it. So from the what I've, the places I've been searching, or it seems that. There is one piece of the stone in the grasslands that we just walked through, I think. And there's one hidden in the site of the castle. What about one more? And then the other one... It seems that that guy over there in blue, who's just arrived, has got it. He saw him with it. Wow, that was interesting. Is that all he's got to say? Yeah. Southern Indiana. I don't really know American geography very well. Is that a hot part, typically? I feel like I've got in my head that Indiana's hot. I've never been to America. I wonder if I ever will, to be honest. I wouldn't mind to, but it's so very far away and expen like most of my, my, my spendings are on going back to visit the UK when I can. I have American friends though, like in Japan for a start, so it would, wouldn't be, it would be nice to go. But it's always the, t you know, like, I can't afford to do that and go home and see my family. Maybe in the years, one year I will. A what? Oh, it's not a stone. So he says there is a ball of light that the item shop here is selling. It's so convenient. If you use it, you'll be able to restore your HP and MP. See, I thought it was MP, but that's not a ball. I have a, well, I have a stone, a, a, a light stone of light, not a ball of light. I guess it's a, a 
better one. I think, anyway, let's have a look. It's quite temperate. Four distinct seasons. Hot in the summer, cold in the winter. See, Japan likes to boast about its distinct seasons, but I don't think they're that distinct. They, they're visually distinct, but I think summer's very long, and winter is very long, and autumn is very, very short. And spring is just hay fever. Yeah, that's that then. It's a stone I've got. Summer is so long, especially this year. Summer just would not go away, and it and we had a heat wave in June, which made summer feel even longer than normal. We can't go in there. Hmm. I quite like the music here. It's a bit churchy. Can we go in here? This is the elders' house. Oh, you're the rumored champion of light. I am indeed. I don't know if he's only got one eye on me. He's got something he wants to ask us. Oh, he was expecting me and he's got something he wants to ask. I want you to rescue the people who have been captured, not captured, but what's the word, caught in Castle Philip, Phillips, Phillips, Phillips. Would you go there? I mean, I've got to find these stone tablets first, surely. Yes, we will. I like the lore, though. I'm enjoying this, this sort of story so far. I think it's quite a cool, cool for its time. Thanks. What is this word? I think it's like moving. Yeah, teleportation maybe. Moving. A cape of of moving, of transferring. <laughs> Metastasis. I wonder what they called it in English. So please take this cape of transferring and give it to those of our friends who have been caught in the castle. If you give it to them, then they'll be able to return back to this village. And we got the cape. I hope it's big. Furthermore, please look for the, the Staff of Earth. I'm sure it will be of use to you, I think. However... There's... There's times when you can't use magic, so be careful. I'll be praying for your safety. And we go... Oh! Oh, I read that wrong. He didn't say look for it. He said he was going to offer it up to us. So what do I, do I just equip it? No. I haven't... I don't know anything about the magic in this game yet. I do have a fire crystal, though. Can I use this cape? Like, if I use it, will I move? Will I teleport? That seems not... Maybe I should, I'm going to just walk out the town and try and use it. I wonder if I'd be able to return here as well. No. Well, there's magic anyway. Staff. Interesting. In the manual I was looking at, the scan. Well, let's have a look together, and I'll tell you what I'm talking about, but... Let me just pull up the PDF again. Because I want to check what the magic does anyway, and how to use it. Oh my gosh, my laptop's been very slow. Not opening a document. There we go. Let's get 
get the manual going. Right, let me just change scenes. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make this be quiet though. Maybe if I do that. Okay. Um, there we go. So let's have a quick look at the ma the manual. Magic, 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 magic. Oh, zoom out a bit would help. I've played this some, not very much. Was this a JPO only release? We simply played it on the Super Mario Kong. Should read the language just because I can and personal preference. I just would rather that because especially older games, the translations can be very hit and miss, can't they? But it's just also trying to just push myself to stop being lazy. I need to do it. I need to get back into the habit because the last year on Twitch, I've just been playing a lot of English stuff and get very kind of lazy. Getting rusty. Yeah, there, look. It says Seraph. I knew I saw that. Seraph. But I tend to like to play which which language it was made in. So, if it was... Oh, it's not patched. It had an official release. It was released everywhere. It was released in North America and... And Europe. Surprisingly. Um... Uh, But yeah, especially with the older games, I like to play them how they were made because there's a lot of tweaking and stuff that often goes on too and stuff that gets lost or difficulties changed and stuff. So Often, yeah, the memory constraints. Also, just lack of... I don't want to say professionalism because I think it's very disrespectful to kind of criticise those that did the job years ago, but they had a lot less of a probably professional setup tools like they didn't have the internet for example to google stuff really quickly so it was very hard they would have been translating from pure raw raw skill and paper dictionaries you know i don't envy them but let's have a look at this magic so i've got this is earth and i'm guessing you just crisscross so with the fire it'll be a fireball we can cast oh thank you for the follow so i was leaning in at the speaker so it might have echoed Oh, there's moon magic. I guess moon's the most exciting, obviously. Okay, so we'll just have, yeah, fireball. And there's Samson, the first boss. A giant armor. Hmm. Ah, well, let's hop back to the game. I'm going to have to plug it back in because I have to remove it for the sound channel. Because I'm also not very professional either. There we go. But yeah, I've always... Like, these sorts of games I've always played by myself offline. Like, before I started doing Twitch, this is just how I would play these games. And it kind of would be easier to play them in English on Twitch. But I don't... At the same time, I, it's also... The, I don't want to compromise my own enjoyment as well, if that makes sense. But at the same time, I realise it's not always the most exciting to watch, especially when I'm getting confused and not necessarily working it out very well, but hey-ho. This game's been pretty straightforward, though, I have to say. It's been pretty easy going so far. Not like... I mean, Sui Coden's alright because I'm familiar with it, but it's a slog. It was a slog playing some of that. Oh, there we go. Oh, God, look at that frame rate. Is this magic even that powerful? Well, I guess it is. Two shots. But magic restores as well, so why do I need the item? I guess it's for bosses. Magic's a bit of a game changer, isn't it? Do you know, I bet that's probably a big problem with this game and people's opinion of it. I wonder how many of them, how many people have played it past, like, you know... Somebody on Twitter said this when I tweeted about it. They said that they don't think people have played... Like, the, the first dungeon is very off-putting, but if you get past the first dungeon, it improves a lot. So, Moon Man, Blazing Fire Man, how are you? I'm back in some capacity. While my laptop is touch wood, touch wood, touch wood behaving. But 
But yeah, if you want to give this a go, Hilton Up, it's available in official English. I had a little watch of it on YouTube while I was in the bath early before I went live. I just I just watched the opening bit that we that we, I streamed yesterday and looked at how the English was. It wasn't bad, to be honest. It seemed to be pretty on point. It was just a bit rough, like not written very well. But and there was a couple of odd stiff choices. I was quit it over the first dungeon. I mean, I ended up putting it down anyway for whatever reason, but I agree it's very awkward. Yeah, it just seems a bit basic and whatever, but now that I've got the magic, it definitely seems a lot more fun. Because, yeah, it's, it's going to improve combat a lot. Level up easier as well. Especially, I wonder if magic will come back in dungeons, though. Oh, we need to look for one of those stone tablets, don't we? Oh, and the other reason, actually, probably the even more important reason is why why I want to play this in Japanese and other games as too, is because let's not forget that this was an era notorious for censorship, especially anything that was like a North American release. They would often remove anything that was like sensitive or religious or whatever, so I'd rather just not deal with that. NOA? Oh, is that Nintendo of America? Yeah, so I mean, I've already noticed the difference in the translation that, um, you know, the, the, the tavern is called a restaurant and the church is called a, a place of worship or whatever it is. It's just like, oh, jeez. Sorry, I can't say Jesus. Nintendo of America will be here. I'm so glad that that nonsense is gone. But yeah, what I was saying is... Um, Oh, let's just take it up a level what, for a minute while I'm yapping, and then we'll carry on. Because I've been watching a fellow streamer, Cobra Commander, doing uh, Running Through Illusion of Gaia. In fact, I'll just give her a shout out, even though she's not here. But if you like Illusion of Gaia or Illusion of Times, it was called in other places. Check out Cobra Commander, who's streaming it right now. Well, not right now, because uh, uh, she's asleep. But, at other times she is. But I recommend that game, that's also why I'm like, yay, that game. But I did notice some people in chat, you know, are commenting on the translation of it and saying like, oh, I wish this would get retranslated, I hear it's rather bad. But I think it's very funny the perception people, people have of what's a bad translation and what's a good translation, because obviously, if you don't speak Japanese, then you don't know. And it's funny how people people assume that badly written, like not very good, not very nicely written English, means that it's a bad translation. That's not actually often always true with my experience of playing video games. It just means it's a bit stiff and not worded very well. Because case in point, um, Illusion of Gaia has got some very dodgy sentences, you know, the, the tense is a bit weird or it keeps jumping from first person to third version, at uh, first person, but none of the meaning is wrong. Like, all the word, all of the context, I mean, I haven't played through the entire game in Japanese, but I've looked at key scenes and it seems mostly bang on, really. And it also didn't have much censorship at all that I could tell. But then you'll get a game like Alundra or something, for example, which is beautifully written. It's very colloquial, very natural sounding English. But I've compared that one and it's often just so off the mark. It's kind of bad, but you won't detect that because it's written in a very nice English that sounds very well done. But often they just cut lines and change stuff and it's just, yeah, it's weird. So, and the same I found with this game. Some of the English sentences I was looking at in that YouTube video were really weird, but it's like I could see the, I could see the meaning in there. It was like not, not totally right. You wouldn't be lost, you know what I mean? You wouldn't be totally missing out. They've got the gist. I mean, they're saying the water's turned muddy, which is a bit of a choice. I mean, it's got dirty, yeah. I guess muddy works. I always thought of it more to do with like, tainted. The water's become tainted, like defiled, is what I thought more was the meaning. I mean, it does literally mean dirty, but just, you know, think outside the box a little bit. Because they're on about, you know, restoring the water back to its pure estate. How much have I got left until the next level? 
I've leveled up. We'll just keep that as that then. But, and that goes back to what I was just saying with the uh, people translating back in the day. So a notorious example that people bring up, because it's a very easy mistake to spot, is if, you, if you're familiar with Illusion of Gaia, you'll know that there's a monster in it called Riverson. And that's a mistranslation of Leviathan, and people will often bring that up. But that doesn't mean the whole game script is wrong. That's one mistake, you know what I mean? That's, that's a mistake, it's a typo. But well, it's not even a typo. The person translating it probably didn't know because they didn't have Google to, to put the Japanese phonetical spelling it's not a word in Japanese, it's just, they've just spelled it out phonetically. They didn't have a, a Google engine to quickly punch it in and find out what they meant by that weird spelling, so they just had to take a guess of what they were trying to spell. And unless, you know, maybe, unless you're thinking about Leviathan or you, you're up on your Japanese Bible, you're not going to be thinking about that, so they probably just were like, Leviathan? Liversan, Riversan. So you can see how they got the conclusion. And this would be in like 93 when nobody had a fast way to check and they probably weren't able to talk to the people that made the game. So they just had to just go on a hunch. They got it wrong. These days that kind of mistake would be inexcusable because you could get the answer from Google in seconds. But if you were translated back then, you'd probably have to like pick up the phone and try and get the Tokyo office on to ask somebody, what does this mean? So this is the, oh well, he's not Zelda, is he, or Link, or whatever at all. This is the weapon store. Oh, I'm very sorry, but there, I have nothing here that you would want. Recently, a thief broke in here and has stolen everything. So the, the the door on the right side of Castle Phillips cannot be open now. And now because of that, we are unable to reach the village of Senegal. Just, I wonder what we could do to get the door to open again. Well, I, I have a feeling that it's there to just you know, keep me here until I'll finish the story and then we'll move on. This village is a village where elves live. Wow. It is not a place for humans to come. Rude. Oh. Yes, the water's become dirty. And Castle Philip started to, you know, appear to look strange. So people went there to investigate, but they never came back. I just hope that nothing bad has happened to them. And give the man, give the, the not the man, the cape. What language is Mant? I don't remember. Does anybody know? It's a loan word in Japanese. It's Mant. I think it's German or something. Mant? Like mantle? Like a cape? Maybe it's not German. Dutch. Oh, the princess has gone missing, I think. So just before the princess went missing, a woman with a weird or a creepy appearance was roaming around the castle. I'm sure that that woman must have something to do with the princess's disappearance. I would think so too. We haven't actually met her yet though.
Long ago, Castle Philippe was a really beautiful castle. But ever since Princess Felicia... No. Well, ever since she disappeared, but something else about her... Ever since Princess Felicia had gone missing, monsters took over and it's become a fearful castle. A terrible place. Who's, is it her castle though? I thought she's from Castle Lagoon. That's what I'm confused about. Lagoon Castle. Which I think is the one on the box. Right, I guess we'll... I think we've talked to everybody, then we can go and talk to the guy in the blue, which is probably going to progress the story. Well, he's got at least one of the tablets, hasn't he? We'll talk to you. Da -da -da. Yeah, it's a beautiful castle, but not now. I do like this, this sort of game, though. It's got the right balance of text and action for me. I don't mind taking the time to read this and then get on with a bit more of the adventurings. That's why I, I think I like the retro RPGs a bit more for streaming. I think we've talked to everybody. So I'm that person, I, I hate missing story, I like to find it all. It's the only reason I play these games, like RPGs and stuff, is I enjoy the story and the, the whole gameplay thing. I don't get I mean, each to their own, but I don't get people that skip cutscenes and stuff. Like, I don't know, it's like missing out on the book. Right, where's that blue guy? Got There he is. Oh, it's Soa. Or Th uh, Thor, I think he's called in English. I don't really... don't really know. You want to go inside Castle Philippe? So this is the the Prince of Darkness, I think they called him. Or like, Progeny, I guess. In fact, I'm going to look up that word. I think. If I can't remember what it was, hang on. Imperial Prince. I think that was the word it was. Crown Prince of Darkness or something. I don't think they call him that in English, though. So in order to go in the castle, you would need to get the stone tablet, which has a spell that can release it. I have one of the pieces... Or maybe there's three stone tablets. You never know with Japanese, no plural. Maybe it's not scattered in pieces. Maybe it's three stone tablets that have been scattered. Regardless, Soa has one of them. Yeah, I think it's that. That's the case, actually. I don't think it's broken. I think I just inferred that. Anyway, if you're going to be looking for the other tablets, then I will help you. My name is Thor Soa. I think we're going to be good friends. He's got cracking hair. Looks a lot beefier than he did in the manual. Oh, I didn't even read that. We got a uh, stone tablet of prayer, I think it was. Yeah. So it is just a stone tablet then. It's not broken. Seems to be a lot of this sort of escort mission stuff. 
I wonder where it is. Well, where did the old man say? I think he said there was one. So, the, of all the places, according to the places that I've checked, one of the stone tablets lies in the uh, in the grasslands, and the other lies in the castle grounds. So, where's the grasslands? Is this the grasslands? Oh wait, wait, just say elf grasslands. But is there another screen? Right, let's spit it, spit up. Let's spit up. Let's split up and search for the stone tablet. Okay, <laughs> don't rush now. Oh my god, the frame rate's going, isn't it? Right, go faster, so uh... I don't even know where to start. I mean, what? I've already looked around here. I do think this game's strong point is its soundtrack. It's very fun. Oh, there he is. And music can go music can go a long way. I'm a huge Ease fan, but like just between you and me, I kind of think like a huge part of why Ease is so good is actually the music and not the game itself. Morning guys. Hey Retro, how's it going? It's weird to hear you say morning. Usually it's bedtime, isn't it? Look! There's a stone tablet right here. Oh, we got the uh, the stone tablet of Wish. Wishes, I guess. Cold here in PA, but good fans. It's getting really cold in Japan now. I've got my blanket out and extra layers. Trying not to use the heater yet. Right, let's look for the other tablet. Well, I don't think it's on this screen. I think it's on the, I think the top, the north, the north right, whatever you call it, the north left, no, the north right, north east. These bugs are good to kill, though. Do you remember? You remember the game Ease Retro that you played a little bit of the start? I can't remember. What, you didn't you play on the MSX? This game reminds me a lot of it. Ease is very nice. This one's not quite as good, but it's fun so far. We're at level 9. Oh no, so we're stuck on the, on the edge of a, a thing. Come on. I wonder does he say anything? That is quite the walk, isn't it? Wiggle, wiggle. Oh, this is Castle Phillips. I guess this is the castle site then. So it's probably going to be here. Somewhere. I can jump. This music's nice. When you're ready, Saw. So. Oh! So what... I've got to test. What happens if I fall? Is it death, or is it damage, or is it what? Ah! Oh, savage! You just die! I mean, it's realistic, but... God! Wow. I like the animation as you go in, though. <laughs> I can't wait to see Saw jump over this. Can you come in? 
Why isn't he coming? Is he going to do it off screen? Cheat. Why is he stuck? What? Bye. Oh, shite. <laughs> Can you define your boundaries, please? I thought it was just a wall. Well, where's the stone, Thor? Aren't you finding it? I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm maybe not in the right place. Can I fall off every... No, I can't fall off that. It's, it's kind of hard to tell what's a jump place and what isn't then. I guess you just got to go with it. Whoop. Oh. Oh, and there's the last. That was easy. The stone tablet of hope. So hope, prayer and wishes. But what about Thor or Saul? He's just stuck on the bridge forever? That can't be right. Is he also going to get in the way so that I can't get back? He is, isn't he? Move it. Oh, what an asshole! Was that his plan all along? Whoop! Yeah, move it. Oh, he said let's hurry back to the old man's place. I will not. I want to explore first. I want to see the before and after. Ooh. Oh. Oh. I guess the before is just the doors closed. I thought the castle would be like invisible or something. It just doesn't open. No, it's two gates. Oh, is that the one? Is that what they meant by the, the, the what was it? The, the west side? The right side of the door of the castle? That'll be the one that takes you to the next town. So I guess it's dungeon. And once we finish the dungeon, then we can go there to the next area. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> Whatever. It's faster anyway. That's what I meant to do. Have I still got the tablet, though? I don't think I have. I know I do. Alright. Thor needs to get out of the way. Move. Honestly. <laughs> Savage. Do, 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 do. It's very somber. Oh my god, we can't even leave the screen because you're not here. Come on. I guess that confirms about the mine area that I was that I couldn't run off. I was wondering whether I could leave gills and keep going by myself or not. You've got to escort me. I'm starting to see why people maybe aren't as big on this. People, you know, nobody likes escort missions, do they? Oops, a daisy. More magic. God. Saw really can't handle trees and stuff, can he? let those monsters come to me and just stand still by the looks of it. Borrow. Oh, did you find them? Hmm. The spell
bell is Hike Ralmeria Kimji. Okay. This is great, Nasio. Or Nasa, whatever her name is. Anyway, I have something that I must do, so we will part here. Oh. Well, thanks for the help, but I thought you'd want to come in the castle. Oh, and he's gone. Use the spell, and you will be able to enter Castle Phillips. I guess we still can't go to the weapon store. No. Oh, I've just realised, I don't think I actually went in the item shop, did I? So I should buy the ball of light that that lady was getting commissioned for promoting. Oh, hello there. Welcome, she says. What do you want, potion? Whoa, that is a lot of money. What? The ball of light is 10,000 gold. Uh, I don't, and I only have 982. What does an elixir do? I don't even know. Let me have a look at the manual. I won't bore you by dragging you with me. I've still got some on my phone. Oh, completely restores health. Weird that it's called an elixir and the picture for it appears to be just a uh, branch. Um, oh, it's 700, though. I don't think I need it. Because what if there's equipment that I need to get? It's a lot of money. Oops, I nearly bought it. No, I don't, I don't want that. Or did I just buy it? No, I didn't. I'm not buying that. Not yet. We could always come back if the dungeon's, like, awful. Right, on to Dungeon 2. Will we have time to finish it this evening? I hope that magic comes back in the dungeons. I don't see why it would. Very juddery scrolling in Castle Phillips. I think it's all that water. Whoa, not today. Okay. God of prayers. Let's hear my wish please open the door of hope from the deep sleep he carried on media can he wow what are they I don't even know what that is like some sort of rat rodent thing with with hands. We should probably save as well. Oh, we're off. Why are you so mad? Oh, they take a lot of hits. Am I under leveled? I feel like I'm over leveled though. I did like I took forever in that first dungeon when I probably didn't need to. I should test the magic. Does it come back? It does. Lovely. This is going to be a giant maze, isn't it? I'm going to get a map right now. Oh. Do, 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 do. I 
feel like the jump needs a certain something. It needs a sound. Why is magic having no effect? It's just as the old man warned. It's doing absolutely nothing. Rubbish. Yeah, I'd like a little boying or something. Or whoop, 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 while we're going. You interrupt my jump. One, two. I don't know, I'm counting doors. Oh my good gravy. What is that? Ow! Get out of here, you. Oh my god. Can you fit through the door? Can you bugger? Ah! 935. How much was it? I want to fight him again and count how much experience he's got. Because is he, is he a grindy? Th is he a grind, do you think? 935. Has he respawned? Three five nine three five. Whoa, 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 whoa! They're so fast. Six. Not bad. I feel like everything's just going at one experience point. I wonder what the other guys are. Oh, I haven't thought. Can I fire magic while jumping? Yes. That looks so cool. Come on back. Come on. Oh, it's going to hit me. There we go. Well, mental note, the top right has a, sta Ooh, a staircase. 647. Oh, you don't do magic, do you? 647, 647, or 947, whatever it was. 952. Five experience from you. Music is so kind of relaxing. 200 gold. I could buy that elixir now and it wouldn't be so bad. How much. Are we getting a lot of gold from here though? No, not really. It seems like I've had about 50 gold since I've been here. He really does get. The wind beneath his wings when he goes, doesn't it? Woof. Wait, there's nothing down there? No, that's just over. Not over scan, whatever it is. This dungeon feels a lot better than the other one. That first dungeon, that mine, it's it's very, very, very off-putting. This is far more just better music, more colourful, a bit more interesting visually. I feel like I can cope with the... Because it's got a bigger... You can see the other rooms and stuff too, I think, which helps. This uh, reminds me of an awful lot of Zack now on the Super Nintendo. The art of visual stage. Because that, the first big dungeon of that is like a big castle. It's the majority of the game at the start there, really. This is just a dead end. I'm feeling like I might. I could stream Zack after this wouldn't be the worst thing. I really want to do the PC Engine versions though. I wish I sort of had a way to do so that was easy. I wish they were f available for sale like on the PlayStation Network but they're not. Kind of an odd absent they were especially because they got the Ease games and the Valis games and stuff. I want to play Cosmic Fantasy as well. We got the prison key? <laughs> The jail key. Hopefully, maybe somebody will port them. Because it seems like PC Engine games are starting to get collections now. 
with Valis coming out and Cosmic Fantasy on the horizon. It's just a bit of a pain because the CD base, they take up a lot of memory. Oh, for some reason I was going to check them out, check them out but it's not the right game. I wonder if this is also like ease in the sense where... How long is my health now? I've leveled up a lot. Where well, your health bar is like a sort of indicator of how far through the game you are. I just use it as a progress thing when I play ease. Like when it's full, you usually end game. Because you tend to level up in time with the game's expectations. So that's go to the left. I didn't. What is this? Oh god, I'm gonna get so lost. Wow, gold armor. So it is worth exploring. I hope I haven't missed anything. that 15 more defense oh it's one of those games where your sprite changes I love that so we can actually see the gold armor see that's nice not enough games do that very underappreciated touch so I'm guessing shields and swords will as well Wait, was that just a dead end then? I went down there, that was the gold armor. And whoop! I just sort of went on autopilot and didn't pay attention. That was a dead end, okay. I like that corridor, you can get a good chug a coffee in as you go. I think the difference too is with this and compared to the first engine, like you can be a lot more careless. Like I can just kind of mow my way through enemies now because I've got the defense and stuff and if I get hit it's not really a big deal. Especially with that armor. Like whatever, you just it gets very a lot more chill. I am lost now though. I can't I can't remember if I've been here or not. Is this where I came from? I think there's still one more way. Out. I don't think I've been to the left. Can't be too careless though.
Uh, more pathways. Please, dead end. Yeah. I believe the door to the next floor was so immediate. Like, all of this is just going off in a totally wrong direction from the door. Oh! Is that a boss door? I guess we'll have to do that later then. I'll need a map to find that. Leveled up another hundred. Oh, no, that's that dead end. Oh, this is so chill. I'm starting to just like <laughs> drift away. <laughs> and now I'm lost. I think it's to the right from here. God, I should save. Right, this is back to the entrance of the castle, isn't it? So I can just go to the second floor now, I think. I feel like I'm starting to pick up the format of this game though, I guess we'll just like find the NPCs that we need to rescue, they will send them back to the village, and then someone will say, oh there's another door in the dungeon, here's a key and you can open it, there's a demon inside that was sealed away, and then we'll kill the demon and then we'll go through the door and onto the next town and there'll be another story in another dungeon and we have to go in and do something, repeat, repeat, repeat until the end. Oh, what's that? How much experience? 1171. 1171. 6. Right, I think before I start this door and get lost, I'm going to just have a, a quick break. I shall be back in a few minutes.
Right, we should be back. <clears throat> I did just have a little peek at a map. I didn't really look at the layout, but I just want to check that what items there are. Apparently there's a shield somewhere, so I need to find that before I leave for sure. And I believe it's somewhere on this floor. So, did I turn the mic back on? Yes. Uh, now we get lost. I mean, I could just use the map, but I kind of want to... I don't know. Should I figure it out a little bit first? It's sort of part of the fun, isn't it? I can always use it if I get totally lost. At least I know what floor I'm on this time. Because the floors look distinctly different. That was the problem with the cave. I sort of got lost after a while to what floor I was even on. What are these jellyfish things? Are they easy? Do they take damage from magic? Yes. I want to YouTube the sharp version of this and see how it compares, actually. Whoa! Oh, my lord. So, we have new enemies that have projectiles as well. This is not good. I was afraid of this. I don't pay attention to how much... I wonder how much experience the magic one gives you. It's still alive. Respawned. Yes. 1205. 4 experience. That's rubbish. Maybe it's not that strong. Wow. Do 
Can hear another. Go back there in a moment. I think there's too many pathways. I'd like to find a dead end. Over here, please. Dead end, please. Oh, good. That looks very suspicious, though. I wonder, I don't, maybe it's not that kind of game. Just the very secret door. Which reminds me, I should probably try and finish 3D Dot Game Heroes at some point. Before it just becomes a distant memory and turns into Dark Cloud. Or Primal. Oh, shite! Oh my god, I'm really dead. Hey, James, how's it going? Ah! Sorry, that the time of that was awful. I didn't say I was shy because you said hello. <laughs> I just almost died at the same time. But how are you? Did you drop by yesterday? I don't think so, right? Do you know this game? It's an interesting one. I didn't do much yesterday though, I only did a short stream. Very late too. Did manage to go on a bit early too. I've got lost. Where did I just come from? That's a dead end, okay. A th oh, this, is this where I just came from? No, I think so. Oh, no, no, no. Now I'm getting very, very, very lost. I can't have been here. If this is a dead end, then I have. No, it's not. Crap. I don't think I have been here. What's up this? A dead end. Plug the laptop in, battery is good for like 10 minutes. <laughs> what do you mean? So you don't have a charger now? So you'll, you'll, be, you'll be gone in 10 minutes? I don't know if you heard what I said. Oh, what's that? Is that the jail? I said, um, I just said, how are you? And then I said, were you here yesterday? I don't think you were. I said, I said do you know this game? I didn't stream much yesterday, only like two hours, very late. It is, there we go. This is the prison. And here are the little elf people. This one apparently came out in the UK. 93, I don't remember it though. Oh, it's awful. 
Princess Felicia was taken away by a suspicious woman. Oh, you came to rescue us? Oh, you brought us the cape of trans transforming, transporting, transferring. Well, with this, we're saved. Everybody must have been worried about us, right? They were. That's why I'm here. I need to give you the cape. So you can get out of here. Who do I give it to? Does it matter? Thank you. With this, we can return to the town. Oh. By the way, while I was exploring the castle, I found this. It's a key. It's a key that lets you go... It's a key to the stairs that leads to the second floor, so I guess it's that door that I found before. Well, we're going to go back ahead. You take care too. Got Philippe's key. I thought I was on the second floor. I guess I'm not. I guess I'm in a, in a basement. I don't pay much attention to the to the which direction the stairs were going in. So where am I now? Oh, I can see. Let's check it up. Miss any any uh, treasure chests. I'm gonna use a map just to speed this up. I think I'm gonna use a map for this floor just so I don't miss something. Oh, why well, is game FAQ is being weird? Show image in a new window. Yes, we'll do that. Okay. Didn't catch the stream yesterday. Legend of Lagoon. It's just Lagoon, this is, apparently. But I guess that's even even better. There's no legends about this. Oops, I've lost the map. It's kind of fun, but it's definitely... It's one of those, like, mazy games, you know, where you just get lost. What am I doing? I'm making a right mess out of my phone. Um, okay... Let's see. We can go down. If anybody's curious as well, you know, I don't know if it's fun to look, but here's the map. I'm going to look at. Whoops. So I believe I'm on the basement in the top left, the bottom left hand corner, and I just went to letter G, which was those. Guys in the prison. Oh, apparently there's a chest with 200 gold in the right corner. So we'll go there. I mean, uh, I don't like mazes. Does anybody? Who plays games? Like, who? Who are you? Who are you people that play games and go, oh, goody, a maze. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. It's definitely sort of a thing with the Ease games as well. They do like their mazes, lots of dead ends and corridors and stuff. But And it's fine, but the problem is, is if it's not just finding the exit. Like, if you, you miss treasure chests and stuff. Equipment, like the character sprite. It's a, um, it's quite cute. Oh, my good God. What the fuck? They will just come and ruin your day. Oh, my God. Get away. He has no chill. Wow. And now I'm lost. Who's spatting your coffee? Get out of here. I only wanted to get chest E. Yeah, the sprite's a little bit cursed, but it's kind of endearing. I think it looks better now that we've changed the armor. I think the first look, I'll show you the other one. I don't think it was as, as appealing. But he's had an upgrade, you see. Yeah. I mean, not that it's changed his face, but... Ah. Uh, 
I like the gold armor. He looks beefier in gold. I like the blue as well. But some of the sprites have been quite precious. There was one, there was a skyline on the floor who'd been injured and I, I need that as an emote now, I think. It might have to happen. Um, oh no, that guy's coming again. The guy with no chill. Shit. <laughs> totally missed. Uh, the best thing about this game though, it has to be the music so far. The music's very good. This isn't the best piece of music in the game, but it's not bad. 100 gold. But yeah, I was just feeling some some Super Nintendo games, because, you know, the other day when we did Star Fox and Assault Suit Vulcan, I had a lovely time. I'll still be doing my Mega Drive stuff, but I think with all the stuff that's happened and trying to get back into streaming again, I just wanted, like, a fresh... A fresh start for a little while before I go back to some of the other stuff I was doing. And also, you know, I just wasn't, honestly, I just wasn't feeling it. I wasn't feeling playing a Mega Drive game. I mean, there's lots of Mega Drive games that I want to play, but there's, I'm kind of aware that too many, too many good games means there's only going to be bad games left. So, I kind of, for a while, I just wanted to play games that I want to play, not just... Um, like going through a list. So, but I don't want to play the best Mega Drive games yet. I want to save them. So, here we are doing some Super Nintendo. Because at least with Super Nintendo, I can just play whatever. Not that there's a law. Where am I going? Up to the north. There's a lots of quirky Super Nintendo games that I want to try, though. Even some action games. I was looking at one earlier. I don't know what it was now. Not a very interesting conversation, really. Oh, that's it. The end. Uh, who published it, though? Sony. It was done by Sony. That was what was interesting. So it was obviously before Sony did PlayStation. I can't remember the title, though. It was a Japanese name. It's like some sort of side-scrolling action game. It's sort of... Maybe kind of known because I, I think I've seen somebody on YouTube banging on about it in some video, you know, like obscure SNES games that aren't really not obscure because we're talking about them right now. But it looked fun, it, and I don't know too much about it. And sometimes I think that's a fun way to just jump into a game, as if you just walked into the shop and picked it up and given it a go. Like maybe read the manual and turn it on and let's go instead of poring over the internet to check whether it's good or not. And they're working on a system with Nintendo. That is supposedly the case, yeah, it's supposedly what caused them to happen, but I just noticed on the title... Actually, let me look it up. I don't know if I can find it. Um, Sony, Nintendo games, maybe? Uh... No, I can't remember what it was now. I'll have to find it. It's on here somewhere. Yeah, it looked interesting. But yeah, so apparently they were, weren't they? They were going to do the uh, Nintendo Disk System and then Nintendo pulled out at the last minute, which annoyed people. I also am under the impression that that's a big part of why Square Enix got the hump with Nintendo for years. Because, you know, Nintendo, uh, Square Enix did jump ship from Nintendo into the PlayStation era and did Final Fantasy on there instead of the Super Nintendo uh, uh, at the N64. Square, they didn't release, I don't think Square, Soft, did a single game for the N64, did they? Did they do anything? At all? Because wasn't it Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles was the, um, was sort of the comeback. It was like, the f I remember there was a bit of a buzz about it because it was like the first time Squaresoft were making something for Nintendo again. Because I think that it was because of, um, Secret of Mana, wasn't it? Secret of Mana was supposed to be a disc, 
a Super Famicom Disk System game, and it was supposed to be a really big game, and because the device never happened, they had to scrap loads of the game. And it probably would, you know, quite rightly piss them off. It's too bad that they... What, and I also think that room is fascinating because I would really love them to have done that. When they did the remake for Secret of Mana, I wish they would have revisited all that stuff that was supposedly gone. But I hear a lot of it was actually recycled and became Chrono Trigger. So, Because apparently Secret of Mana was going to have time travel in it or something. I think a lot of ideas that got scrapped from Mana ended up just being used in other games. So maybe a bit that's why they don't want to revisit it. But the main thing, I don't know how familiar you are with Secret of Mana, but the main thing that stands out to me when I play that game is the lighthouse that never has any real purpose. You don't really do anything in it other than get a, a, some weird exposition from some orbs. It always feels like it should have had more of a point. And there's also some weird geography around that area that you can't go to that just looks like it probably would have been a location, but it just isn't anymore. Isn't there a, a weird island too where there's a man that just talks and does nothing? But the lighthouse in particular strikes me as probably would have been something more. Okay, we're back up. What floor am I on now? The second floor. No, I'm on the first floor. And I think I got all the chests here. Even if I didn't, it looks like it's only armor anyway. So I can just make my way up to the second floor now. I think personally though, I don't know. I feel like it's for the best that it didn't happen. I mean, obviously I like the PlayStation, but I think we were getting to a weird place with console gaming then, where it was like all add-ons, like the Mega CD and stuff, and they never had very long lives. And it's sort of, I don't know. I'm not really a fan of add-ons and remodels myself. I don't like the trend now that you wait for the slim, you know what I mean? I don't really like that. Like I'm always, I'm always hesitant because I did that with the Switch. The reason I don't have a Switch originally was because, well, they were, they were sold out, and I don't buy one immediately. But then after a while, it thought, well, I should just wait because they'll inevitably do an improved version. But then the improved version was just the OLED model, which wasn't actually that exciting. But then it's like, well, I may as well get that version now. It's only like the difference of about 20 quid, isn't it? You know? But they're all sold out. Right now, I can't afford one anyway. We get, I'll probably. I would like to get a Switch in the new year. Maybe in the summer. I would like to get one. So. Moon! A sliding slip. You're green today. I thought you had a colour. Did you change the colour or is it random? We played Dizzy on the Spectrum and it had something like that, an item that did nothing in an area that went nowhere. Yeah, it's funny that with old games. That you, if you if you know, do you know the website The Cutting Room Floor? That's really interesting for looking at old games like cut stuff that you can find and stuff that they found in the data. Not a clue, but hello, how are you? I'm a bit I'm a bit funny today, to be honest. I had my booster yesterday and I'm not feeling so hot about it, or rather, I'm feeling a bit hot, but. But other than that, I'm alright. I'm probably going to go to bed once I get through this dungeon. I'd like to finish the dungeon. Am I getting sick, are you? I don't think so. Oh, hello. How goes Lagoon? Uh, I'm still enjoying it, but it is very much just... The dungeons are a bit uninspiring. This one's better than the other, though. I'm using a map though. How are you? I don't think I'm getting sick. It's just a bit tired. It's hard to know because I didn't sleep very well last night. My arm's aching. Like I had when I had the first two, I didn't feel like super sick afterwards. I'll probably feel better tomorrow after a bit of a sleep. Right, let's go through to the final floor. I need to put the key on, that would help.
I played Layers of Fear at the at the weekend sloop. Have you played that one, that scary one? I quite enjoyed it. I can't believe you played Outlast on stream though. It was funny. Oh this is pretty. This is is this the second floor? It looks like we're outside. This looks like death as well. I'm gonna save because Falling down in this game is just death. Chat myself playing out last. It was very funny. I have to admit. I think I was, it was me. Everybody was mean. How much have we got? One, three, seven, six. One, three, seven, six. One, three, six experience. But yeah, it was. I couldn't resist to just playing your sound effects at any pro inappropriate times. It was really funny. Okay, let's whisper trumpets. <laughs> Played the other one, I can't cope. Never was in teenage one and stuff. Layers of Fear is nowhere near as scary as Outlast, though, so you'd probably be okay with that one. I mean, it makes you jump, but not constantly, you know. And I don't feel like. <clears throat> when I was playing Layers of Fear, I didn't feel like I was in a constant state of stress, whereas the start of Outlast was like that. Outlast or Outcast, I think. So. Outcast is the band, isn't it? I love the daft sound effects, it actually made me less stressful. Oh really? It was so funny. Where am I on this map? But I really enjoyed Laser Fear. I heard it got like a bit of a negative sort of feedback, but I quite enjoyed it. I mean, it was repetitive in its design, but I just enjoyed the sort of chill, like the spooky story. <clears throat> It definitely finished at the right time. I didn't. It was starting to get a bit. Okay, I'm over. I'm done now. Not sure how I feel about a remake though. That's apparently coming out. Like it just seems a bit redundant. I don't think I'd want to play it again. I didn't even get the best ending either, which is a bit annoying. Well, or a conclusive ending rather. But I don't really want to play it again. I enjoyed the journey though. I need to play the the uh oh these don't take magic then. I need to play the DLC. Do 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 The map that I'm looking at really doesn't communicate this this level very well. Oh maybe it's just yeah, it's just when he's attacking I can't use magic. I thought he was doing it as res in a response to my magic. Oh, that, that's loot. But how are you, Sloop? I see me at work. Oh god, he's going for it. One, four, three, four. Oh, that's a lot. That's seven. I think that's the highest experience yet. This music, though, it it is just so chilled and relaxing. I would doze off to this. But it's quite so nice with well, this fucking shite mine. Oh, no. It's taking a turn here now and starting to get cold in an evening. I'm very, 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 very nervous about the upcoming months with the electricity because I got my electricity I was saying earlier I got my electricity bill today and it was not good and I have not even ooh we got a large shield I knew we would because I'm looking at the map but I'm going to pretend I'd be surprised ooh we got a large shield and we can see it there it's a lot of defence 15. I can't do my work. Yeah, 15 defense. That's nice. And you can see it. Look at energy. It's bonkers. Japan's going bonkers now, too. The prices of like milk has gone up and other food and stuff. It's just. I don't want to be that negative person. I can't. I try and keep Twitch like reasonably mellow. Do you know what I mean? But sometimes I just think like. Well, it's just a bit shit, isn't it, at the moment? Like, is there anything good ever happening? It just seems like 
I'm getting priced out of life. <laughs> Is your heat mat out yet? I'm not using that this year. That can bogger. <laughs> I'm not, I don't even dare use my heated carpet this year. I, mean, I can afford to. I have a new mat now anyway that's that's not it's not heated but I could put it underneath I have the bottom of the heated carpet I could put it underneath but I'm petrified to use it. It is abject at the moment. I'm just praying my rent doesn't go around as these covers. My rent is controlled a bit I believe. But there's always the fear that the landlord will sell up or something, you know. Right, let's above real because that makes you sweat and warm. Well right now I'm wearing a pajama t shirt and a pajama like long elasticated sort of sweater thing it's hard to explain um it's not a sweater as such but and then i'm wearing uh, a cardigan what i actually just reminded me what i should do i need to buy some heat tech which japan is sort of famous for i guess heat tech. i've never used it before because i hate being hot I'm that person that will still wear short sleeves in winter and just put a coat on over the top. I don't like being covered in layers of clothing. It makes me ugh, get frustrated. But it's that cold right now. I might give it a go. Because I don't find that more layers often helps. It just makes you feel a bit... I don't know. But yeah, I got my bill and it's... In years gone by, my bill was about like a, a a a typical winter month using the heating is how much my electricity was, and let's just say the last month I haven't even I haven't even turned my heating on or my air conditioning. It's been off for an entire month, and I've been turning my Wi-Fi off at night. I've been turning my PlayStation 4 off properly, not standby mode off. All my consoles are off. I've bought one of those like plug things where you can flick the switch to turn it off which one you're not using so they're all clicked off kettles off at the wall toasters off at the wall the only thing that's on is my, t is my tv on standby because the clock keeps resetting if you turn it off otherwise and i use it as an alarm clock and the fridge that's all i have on when i'm asleep and then when i'm at work and so i feel like i'm being good about it but then my electricity bill was like not a normal month i'm like i'm not been using it so i'm like terrified about the winter months and using my heating because the problem for me is like you know i won't know until i get the bill <laughs> and then it's like whoops <laughs> i can't keep track of it like i can't think oh this is getting expensive i should perhaps like use a couple of blankets today i'm just gonna have to pray for the best i'm just gonna have to hold out as long as i can take a lot problem is is all my apartment is electricity and i think some of it's cooking Hate sweating and steam, em. I do. And it's the same with like socks and stuff, you know, you put more socks on, and I just find it just makes my feet sweat, then the socks get wet, and then you get cold. Do you know what I mean? To be crude. And once my feet go cold, like that's it. I need to like get in bed or take a bath. I hate cold feet as well, it's my least favourite thing. Do, 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 do. 100 gold. I like this floor of the dungeon, although geographically it makes no sense at all. Like, this is literally just floating in the sky. I guess it's supposed to be... No, I don't guess. I don't guess anything. Like, I could understand this part. Do you... No, I guess it's just a weird bridge. Go into nowhere. We're near a level up. Oh god, I'm nearly dead. I'm not paying attention. I'm I'm sort of glad that this doesn't have a, a low health annoying buzz, but at the same time, it does sneak up on you. But yeah, it's like I mean, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna care. But it's like you know, even like on Switch, oh, on Switch, on Twitch streaming. That means I got my laptop on. I've got this on. It's like oh my god, does it cost me money to stream? But I, you know, I like stream, so whatever. Because the last month I've not even had my laptop at home, so I've not had my laptop on all for a month. So that's not been adding to the bill. It's a, just a thing. I've been cooking a lot more at home to try and save money on cooking, but then maybe you can't you can't win, can you? Because you cook at home, but then you're running up energy bills. 
and it's like I started drinking hot coffee instead of iced coffee because iced coffee I buy, whereas um, hot coffee I just make it, you know, buy a cheap instant hot coffee. But then I'm like wondering, well, is boiling the kettle making this less efficient? <laughs> Who knows? It's, and it's pathetic that you have to think about boiling a fucking kettle. Like, what is wrong with the world right now? Where, where is... I think this is just a dead end. But fortunately, I don't use gas. My whole home is electric. It does the water and everything. But that's another thing that I'm starting to think about changing. Like, I might, like, only, like, not have hot water on certain days. Like, I mean, I'll have hot water, but I have a tanker, and it fills up, and, like, it keeps it, it keeps it stored. And then once it's gone, you have to heat up more water, if that makes sense. Oops. So I'm, I'm trying to like maybe make it squeeze out longer because at the moment I have it set to heat four days a week and I might try and knock it down to three. I don't know if it'll make a difference though because I don't know if it works because I assume it's using electricity to keep the water hot but maybe it uses less to keep it hot than to actually heat it up in the first place. You know like 120 litres of water. I wonder. I have no idea. But you know the best way to keep warm is to just take a really hot bath. And then when you get out, everything will feel better. Right, according to my map, this should be a boss. So we'll pop on in. Just going to make sure I've got my full stats. And we'll save. Actually, I'm going to save in the corner, because I always worry about an enemy. Oh, it'll be fine, won't it? Right, let's go in. Oh my god. Wait, well, didn't mess around, did he? Oh, I can't use magic! This is nonsense. Ow. Oh. Game over. That was abrupt. Continue, yes. I'll have to level up again. Do. Seems to just lunge straight into me at the start. Will I win by brute force? Yes, that seems to be the strat for this game. Just stand still and smack the bosses. Natera. Oh, we've defeated Natera. And we got the silver sword. I hope it's longer. Please, come on. Place your bets now that it's exactly the same. It won't be longer. Love smack the bosses chops games, right? Sometimes brute force is the way. Come on. Oh, disappointed. Did I equip it though or did I press cancel? It is clearly a bigger sword and yet... I mean... Uh... No, it's the same animation. Whoa, that's a big hike though. 30 attack. But it's still just a toothpick. Boing. Actually, nobody told us to even kill that boss. I wonder if that will open the door, though. Oh, now I need to... The, these games, they really need a, a, a fast escape, don't they? I'm going to have to pull the map up again. 
I do not know the way out. Uh, up and down, and all around. I've noticed Sonic Frontiers has been getting mixed reviews, but good. It seems to be getting good reviews from consumers. And that my people on Twitter that I've seen seem to be enjoying it. I think G to the next level is enjoying it, and he's a big Sonic fan, so I'd rather take his opinion over somebody that's not even particularly into the franchise. I shall wait until PlayStation 5. I, I can be patient. As much as I love Sonic, but I'll wait until I've got a PS5. I want to play the best experience of it that I can. Because I would assume it runs better on a PS5 than a PS4. If, if, if we can ever get PS5s again. I wonder if we will get to the point where we'll just skip to the PS6 at one point. Because, I mean, I can't believe how long it's been out. And I feel like barely anybody's adapted to the PS5 yet. I haven't. Can't afford one. And, there, and, it, and whenever I, I could have possibly afforded one, they've always been sold out. And you see them in shops now when they do have them for like... Well, I mean, I'll just say, yeah, I can't, I can't think of it. 70,000 yen or something, which is just nuts. Absolutely insane. Oh, because PS4 was like 40,000, I think I bought mine for. My Pro. The Pro was a weird one in Japan. Like, it had no fanfare. I remember I remember the news of it coming out, and I couldn't even find one in the shops. So I had to proper hunt around to find a PlayStation Pro. And I was looking in, like, January or February, and it had come out in December, and it was just sold out everywhere. But not just sold out, like, most shops weren't even acknowledging that it existed. There was no, like, shelf space, like, saying it was sold out or getting stock or whatever. Nobody, w they were just selling the old models and nothing else. I was like, weird. But then I eventually, I went to some sort of electronic shop and they had one. I was like, oh my god. And I got it. I was so happy to get the Pro. Gonna save. I don't trust this jump. Ooh. I think this is the door down. Yes. I think we're near it. No, we're not near another level. I don't think the magic attack has gone up though with a level up. I think that's still the same. But the sword's just got such crap reach. Dude. Where am I? Oh no, I've got into some... Some sort of dead end. I don't know where I got here. Even with the map, this is a little bit tricky to see where I'm going. I don't think this is the right way. Get out of the way! Oh, oh no, I think this is the exit. So maybe I can go back to town now and they'll let me through this other gate. But is it actually already open? It is! But I'm not going to go there yet. I want to. Well, maybe I'll peek. I wonder if it will just close behind me, though. All right, I want to go back to the village first. Because that weapon store, wouldn't he surely have... Oh! <gasps> oh no, what have I done? I've saved anyway, it's fine. Dwarf Desert. Oh. 
1976. Well, that was 10. That's quite a lot. But we'll, uh, we'll leave this. I want to go back to the village first and check that there's nothing to buy. I wonder if the, the elf shop has... We also uh, replenish his stocks. Replen pl replenish? Replenish, replenish his stocks. Boing. Although, I feel like I've already just got some upgrades for my armor anyway. Oh, fudge! Fudge, 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 fudge. I forgot about that. The scrolling being so close doesn't help. Do, 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 do. I don't think the bosses have very good, been very good so far. It doesn't feel like any skill. I just feel like I'm just face rolling through them with sheer brute force. They definitely probably need the bump system. They seem like they're designed more for bump system. I can't believe these are still not dying from my sword. I've got like over 100 strength now. You did it! I did. In the village of Senegal, which I guess is going to be the dwarf village, the next place, there's lots of good defense items being sold there. If you want them, you'd better start saving your money up. Noted. I won't bother buying the elixir and stuff. Oh, she's still trying to flog me that like, ball of lie. I don't want it, lady. I'm going to keep that 2,000. You never know. Thank you. My younger brother went to Castle Phillips. You have my gratitude. Guess we rescued his younger brother. Thank you so much. With this, the village can return to peace. Did we not get a prize? I guess he did give me a staff of earth in advance. Keeping in the back, he looks like little Eric Cartman. <laughs> it has got that sort of chunky little character about it. It's quite cute. You should see the other guy, the the character saw who's not here now. They were huge. Like, not huge, like sideways wise, very wide. Sprite. I'm, I'm so surprised to think that someone like, a child like you could be the hero that saves our friends. Well, whatever. I'm not even going to think about that. You know, sometimes honesty is not the best policy. You don't need to say things to people's faces like that. this it seems that the royal family of Lakeland have so for generations the royal family of Lakeland have the power to make the castle, lagoon castle float in the sky or had it
it seems that originally that power was in order to escape from any sort of disasters that were having happening on the Earth's surface, or the land, the land, not necessarily Earth, is it? It's very easy, isn't it? Floating, a floating island thing. That's what, that's basically, you know, slight spoilers, but that's the, the premise of Ease, essentially. Ease disappeared to escape the calamity that was happening on the ground below. More like ignoring the peasants. That too, you know. Taxes, whoop, 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 whoop. Off they go. Let's see. Can relate. I can't stop thinking about Princess Felicia's disappearance. Me too. I don't even know who she is, but I've heard about her so much in this town. Well, there they are. Just in case you weren't sure who the people that returned to the village were, they've lined up nicely for us. Well, we should talk to them. Oh, shite. I've missed what you got to say. Go on, say it again. Yeah. Natala. So, it seems that when you defeated Natala, the door on the right side of Castle Philippe opened. I already know. Thank you so much for what you did before. It's because of you that we're free now. Yeah, it is. Oh, we were saved because of you, but... What? Oh. Did you find Princess Felicia? You must hurry and help her. I don't even know who she is yet. I don't even know if she was anything to do with that castle. I thought she was from Castle Lagoon. I mean, I don't know why we're doing any of this adventure in the first place. To find the source of the the dirty water, the, the, the tainted water. Well, surely if all the water's coming from Castle Lagoon, just a hunch. You know, hear me out on this one, but I, I suspect there might be something going down at Castle Lagoon. But nevertheless, we'll do all these side quests on our way there. We owe you our lives. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. All in a day. I got a new armor out of doing it anyway. And a shield. And a cane. And a sword. Who are you? We've talked to you. She's just buzzing like someone's mum. Oh, he's still there. Sorry, someone stole all my stuff, blah, blah, blah. I mean, I, mean, I thought you would have restocked by now. Maybe someone stole all his stuff and hid it in the castle and I just found it. Welcome. Why do all these shop people look so bored? Right, I'm not going to buy any of this shit because we just got the tip off that the, uh, the dwarves have stuff. I forgot to use the potion. I wonder if you can use a potion during boss fights. It would be useful. Didn't find her. I think she's in another castle. She probably is, yeah. We'll have to use a fireball on the boss instead and find out if it was a Goomba or whatever. They work retail. I think it's reason enough to be bored. Well. I used to work in retail, though. I know it's a joke, but just as a side thought, I, I used to work in a in a uh, sort of mini supermarket way before I moved to Japan, just to save up some monies. I actually I enjoyed it. If it wasn't for the pay being like never going to be progressive unless you want to like rise up through the ranks, I could quite happily do that as my job now. I enjoyed it. The only thing I didn't like was working on... I didn't really like working on the cashier stuff. I mean, obviously, custom, well, not all customers, but I hated having to ID people with cigarettes. Oh, God, I fucking hated the Larry gobby people that would be angry because you ask them for ID and they don't have ID. I miss working retail, but maybe I just miss being young and having no responsibilities. Yeah, also, hey... I work retail too. I hate people in general. Oh, shit! So does he. He just ended it now. 
just stirred up painful memories. Let's do that again. Um, I pressed the wrong button. I pressed attack instead of jump. How's this game treating you? It's repetitive. It's not the best game ever, but it's far from the worst. It's playable. It's like... It's like toast without butter. You know? It's alright. It's edible. It's palatable. It's... With a nice drink, it's not even bad, but... the worst. I think it's quaint. I, I really like the story. I like the, the, the mood. I like the, the, the music. I like the story, like going to the towns and hearing that the lore and stuff was quite interesting for this castle that we just did. I enjoyed that, but the dungeons are just a bit Snoresville. Like, you're just walking around mazes with with not any sort of story going. Well, that's not true. I'm trying to think what makes it different from like ease. I think the combat hurts it. I think if it was the bump system, I'd enjoy it more because you just want to whiz through instead of trying to aim. People are the worst. But no, I enjoy. Oh, I didn't go through to that. I quite enjoyed it when I worked in. I, I like to chat to people and stuff. It was nice, but I worked in a, in a village, so it wasn't quite the same as work like I don't think I would enjoy retelling like the city but like in the village it's the same people all the time you get to know them and you just chat and stuff and it was quite cozy for show sure ideas arseholes are great if you're not doing your job I'm also like yeah that's the thing I think you, you also need to work I think I feel like everybody needs to work in retail to just be a better human being because you don't realize how when you're an angry customer I think there's a difference like when you've worked in retail you know how to just kind of like check yourself a second and be like okay we don't need to be this rude to this individual standing in front of me it's not their fault that the company that they work for is incompetent or something you know what I mean it depends because sometimes because I mean I remember just a case in point I really do need to go to bed but I'm enjoying this conversation now oh I guess we'll try on for, for, for 15 more minutes or something but uh, let me show you what you said first where is it? Music store, so I got to know that. See, that'd be nice. You know, my, my dream job, in a way, but probably be a very dangerous job, but I'd love to work in, like, a retro game store. I wouldn't like to own one, though. I'd like to work in one. Maybe I would like to own one, but I'd, I'd find it hard not to buy, like, buy everything <laughs> for myself. But I'd love to... I think I'd be good at it, too, because I could, like... I know all about stuff, but... The pay is shy here. Like, in Japan, for example. Retro game stores here, it's all like student part-timers that were, they don't even necessarily know much about what they're selling, but it's not, you know, be great at retro games, well, thank you, I think I would, I'm not even toot my own, like, in a toot my own home way, I just, I know my shit, you know, at, l at least when it comes to consoles, and if I don't know, I know how to find out, and I've played enough games, and I'm, I have a good, oh my god, these things are fucking, Oh, wow. Do not fuck with the squirrels in this game. They will wreck you. Brutal. Too many robberies and break-ins in stores in my local area. Oh, I've seen that one about Pink Gorilla on the news and stuff. It's just, it's sad. That's why we can't have nice things. Pairs of the game, so maybe you know that store. I saw that too. Yeah. Well, I follow him on. Uh, I follow uh, Kelsey on Twitter. So I saw about it. I've never been, but get so much shit at that store. I swear. I follow her too. Yeah, and I also feel like I don't know. I feel like when. I don't know if it's still true, but sometimes there's a, a certain amount of having to prove yourself, like, for her, because she's female and young, it's like, almost like, oh, you can't really be a retro gamer, you can't really know what you're talking about, it must be your other half that's doing it all, or whatever, but it's like, well, no, you don't need to be, like, a fusty old man with a beard, no offence to fusty old men with beards, but to know stuff about retro games, I don't consider myself 
I don't know, atypical either. I'm just a, I'm just a bit of a gamey nerdy person. I like my video games. Exactly retro. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, we know you're still here. <laughs> Bastard. <laughs> And you don't know anything, right? <laughs> I just like the work she does. She seems knowledgeable and fun. I just like the fact that she's a different face. It's nice to see a different face towards video games. I like seeing uh, different types of video gamers. It's the same with like Ash said hi on Twitch. I don't watch a lot of her content, but when I do, I just think it's it's great to see just not the same sort of person that's streaming or gaming or whatever you know there's a lot of people that like video games it's not the realms of 30 40 something year old men that whatever i don't know i don't know where i'm going with that but let me tell you quickly about my story about the supermarket that i didn't do so i remember once i had a lady come to me at this counter and she wanted these two pizzas and, the, and there was supposed to be some sort of offer that was like mix and, mix and match or something but they were different brands they were not like it was mix and match of types of pizzas so say for example it's not Domino's but say it was Domino's a frozen Domino's pizza and there was like a pepperoni and a cheese one and then there was a Pizza Hut one and there was a pepperoni and cheese one whatever. she wanted to mix like a Domino's with a Pizza Hut and she was like but it says mix and match I'm like yes but it's mix, it's, it's mix and match for only this brand of pizza not the other one and she's just like well I can't believe this it says right over there it says mix and match and I, I said yes but and I said I explained again I said yes it does but it's just about that and she's like get me your manager I need to ask them I'm just like what so then she I had to get the manager down or the supervisor and then the supervisor said exactly the same thing and then the lady's like oh I see oh never mind then and it's just like oh so you you won't listen to me and you just kick off but you'll listen to my supervisor who so says the exact same thing but I'm just an idiot right anyway the moment the moment's gone but I wanted to tell that story but that's the kind of stupid shit where I just think like people need to just check themselves and think about like who you're talking to what a shrew yeah, people like that. It's just a thing. Unfortunately, not many girls feel safe sharing their hobbies with the world for safety reasons. Well, that's also why I think it's important to just uh, distance yourself a little bit, maybe, if you're in that sort of a situation. Be careful. You know, put up those those boundaries that with this stream, you're not my BFF, you know. We're not going to get married because you've been watching my stream. I don't want to get into all of this. I don't really want to talk about it because I'm not a woman, so I don't think it's my place to comment too much. But it's like the recent stuff with I saw on Twitter was it about Amaranth. I don't even know how to pronounce her name. Um, and the stuff that's been going off with her. And I don't really know a lot about it, but I still just think that uh, oh, I've lost my point. What was my point? Oh, people thinking that they're entitled. Uh, I guess the gist is that um, people think that they're entitled to knowing stuff about her or something. Just because they watch her stream and pay subs or whatever, they're entitled to know like whether she's dating somebody or not. I'm just like, how gross are you? Like, what? You that is not nice. Customer service can be rough. Hello there. How are you? But yeah, I just think like that, you know, no offense, but like to anybody, it's, I, I love having chats while we're streaming and stuff, but just because you watch me stream doesn't mean you're entitled to know the ins and outs of all my personal life, do you know what I mean? And, and in her case, I think a lot of people that her audience were acting as if they owned her and it's just, it's gross. Even if she does do an OnlyFans or whatever it is, you still don't own that person. It's disgusting. I mean, it's not my cup of tea. In fact, I've actually blocked her on Twitch. Well, not blocked her, but I've uh, told Twitch to please stop sending me her stuff. Because it was recommending me at one point, I think. Or something. I think once out of curiosity, I was having a look at what hot tub streams were. Because I'd heard the hype about them. But then Twitch was like, oh, do you want to watch more? And I'm like, no. So I had to just like hide the whole thing. And I clicked on her thing and said, I'm not interested. So I'm aware of what she does, but I, I, it's not... It doesn't, shit! Oh my god, these things are... 
<sighs> they will just have you. They will just have you. You're gone. No iframes. Get out of here. Wow. I need to remember to save. Did I save? I think I did. Not going near them. But yeah, regardless what my views are on what she streams and stuff, you don't own her. She's a human being. Pops are brutal. Yeah, they'll mess you up. Same with everything, really. You know, you don't own anybody. I also follow What's Her Face. Um, who's the other one? That Metal Jesus' is friend. Kin. Kels Kelsey, is it? <laughs> I follow her so well, I can't remember her name. But she's moved to Japan now, and I find that interesting. This kind of streams, not my cup of tea either. But the people that do them deserve privacy and respect. Yeah, and also it's the same like I don't know, you know, like if you're a porn star or something, which I guess is not too far from whatever she's doing on OnlyFans. Do people own porn stars just because they bought a DVD? I don't think so. It's just, it's a job. It's not a job I would do. But it's, you know, it's just what they're doing. It's their business. Kelsey Lewin. Well, who's the one that's pink gorilla then? King Kinsley is who I'm thinking of, not Kelsey. Kinsley. The one that's moved to Japan. Blonde hair. Kinsey, yeah. She was in a few of Metal Jesus' videos, mostly about like Pokemon and Nintendo stuff, I think. But she's now actually moved to Japan. I'm gonna save again. I feel like I need another magic or something. I guess I've nearly leveled up. Sure it should develop it. Yeah, sure it's true high labs. In Kyoto. Sort of low key envious of that sort of stuff. I wish I could go work somewhere like that. But I don't really have any talents. Unfortunately, the problem is, it's like, you know, I did Japanese at university or whatever, but it doesn't qualify you to do anything. I don't have any gaming develop stuff. You know, in another world, if I could, like, do something else, I wish I could be, like, a game composer or something. I don't have. I'm not. I'm not super musical though, I guess. But I love game music, I wish I could make it. Do localization. I don't think I'm good enough, I don't know if I'll ever be. I already tried to work in a translation job, not localization, proper translation, and it was just, it was such a grind. It was just soul destroying. It was just hurry, 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 faster, faster, faster. And, and it's almost like quality didn't matter, just meet that deadline, and if they don't complain, it's fine. And next. The problem is, th there's 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 still stuff with like gaming localization, I think, to an extent, but the translation industry has been ruined by Google and stuff. Machines can just do it faster, and good enough. It's just ruined now. If I had a time machine... I'd probably just go back in time and tell myself to study something else. And just do it as a, do Japanese as a hobby or something. You don't need to study Japanese to have come here. This is from the car. I've been <laughs> Hello from the car. I've been to the dentist. My teeth are lovely. <laughs> How are you? Other than lovely teeth. Is it good enough for me though? I feel like half ass machine translations. Yeah, but <laughs> when it comes down to just like normal stuff, like not video games or books or whatever, but when it comes down to normal stuff like a hotel website, they don't want to pay a lot of money for a human to do it. Companies can't afford it or don't want to. We've it, Again, it's another one of those things where people have just been priced out. The machines are so much cheaper and can do it instantly. 
And also, what often happens now in the translation industry is that um, it's much cheaper to just get a machine to translate it and pay a proofreader than to pay a human to translate it. It'll take longer as well. It's just sad. That's the thing, you know, every time I see these like Google adverts where they're like Google, Google Translate and, and they're getting better and better, my heart just sinks because I just want to scream like, just you're just killing jobs. Please stop improving all this technology. It's just ruining skill and industry. These, I swear to... Ooh, absolute bastards, these little rats. Why are they so savage? It's a, it's a no win, you know. Like Google Lens, like, you know, the, what you can do now with Google Lens, oh, it just kills me. Just kills me. How you can just point your phone at some at a document now and it will just translate it in front of your eyes. It's like, oh my god. Years of study. Hate what I do for a living. I wish I could do something else. Why do you make translation machines? <laughs> Don't you work with graphics or something? I think you said before. Enough is good enough for me. It, at the moment, though, the only thing, the sort of last bastion is is uh, entertainment and media right now. What do I do for a living? I just teach English. Nothing exciting. I went back to a job that I quit. I quit my job just before the COVID crap pandemic happened. I, I, I handed in my notice in January 2020 and became unemployed just in time for the global pandemic. It was absolutely fantastic. Best best thing I ever did. Not. Just bankrupted myself. Was unemployed for six months. Ended up going back to a job that I was working in before that job for less pay than when I used to work there. And then... Um, and then I finally got the gig at the translation thing, which I thought would be life changing. And it ended up making me just mentally ill. It was just exhausting. I just couldn't handle the pressure of it. I don't know if it was the job as such as just that job and the people, like the people I was working with. They were nice people, but just, they were, I, I couldn't keep up. I felt like I was being taken on and expected to already be pro level. I thought that they were a bit understaffed too, and it just felt like way too much pressure on me. And some people there were perfection, perfect, proper nitpick perfectionists, and I just couldn't crack. I was literally like having anxiety attacks about whether I'd put a comma in the right place. It was just killing me, and I just had to get out. And the pay was absolute shit. It was, I could have, uh, I was on probation pay. Which, uh, it was just, it's kind of disgusting, to be honest. I mean, it would have gone up after time, but I was on probation pay. I was on less than working in a convenience store. And, uh, you know, I'm not saying that people that work in convenience stores don't work hard, but they also haven't got, like, language skills. and so, Well, some of them do, actually, I guess, you know. Live in another country and work in a convenience store, but yeah. It's just bullshit. See that go go out. I did, but then I ended up going back to the job just before Corona happened. I went back to the job that I quit just before Corona, so I kind of just ended up going full circle. But except I blew all my money and I had a crap time about it, and ended up back where I started. Except with a slightly um, worse deal because I'd lost my leverage because I quit and came back, and they knew that I needed desperately to the job. They were very good, to be honest, to take me back because I just really needed to get out of that job and I needed to get my visa sponsored and I just went and talked to my old manager and she was very nice about it. But it's not the best job for financial security. The problem with my job is um, I get paid by what I work. So if I'm sick, like, you know, recently I just had COVID. Um, I had to take a week off work, but that's a week of me out of pocket. I don't get paid for that. So it's quite devastating. I can't afford to be sick at the moment. Does the screen end? I, I mean, I think I just need to go north, but I'm kind of worried about missing a chest or something, but I don't see anything. But 
but the problem recently, because I don't get paid holidays either. So, I kind of, we had a vacation in August, which is a national holiday one. We had a vacation in September, which was like a week. So it's just been chipping away at my earnings. And then I was finally back onto a full month that didn't have any vacation time, and then I got sick. So then I lost even more money, and it's just, I can't keep my head afloat right now. After Christmas, hopefully I'll be able to stabilise a little bit. But that's just the problem. Because obviously, you know, I said I'm going back to the UK for Christmas, so I will be out of work. I'm going to be back in the UK for four weeks, but when I get back, I won't have any paycheck because I've not been working for a month. I got no paid vacation. It is what it is. Happened to me recently, had a vacation, then got sick. Yeah, that's the thing, you know. I don't want to be off. And I would have gone in, because I needed the money, but it's corona. You can't, you know. Otherwise, I'd just suck it up. I'm a graphic designer by trade. There's so many local generators out on the web now, which just spits in the face of all designers struggling to make ends meet. Yeah, it's it's just a sad... I saw something recently on Twitter, some people going on about AI... AI drawing or something? I don't know how I feel about that. Because when you equate it to something like Vocaloid, I don't see the difference. But then I guess, I don't know, somebody's composed the Vocaloid song at least? Don't get me started on AI. Yeah. I think as long as it doesn't repl like totally replace, it's not so bad. But it's when it's, it's just replacing stuff. Is when it's sad. I mean, to be honest, one of the worst things I think that's happened with COVID, I don't know if it's happened everywhere else, but what's happened in Japan is all the stores and supermarkets now have all got self-checkouts ever since COVID. It's like COVID was an excuse for them to just um, to machine eyes, automate the, the checkouts. I mean, a couple of supermarkets had some as an option, but now all supermarkets have self-checkouts. And they still have some human stuff, but not as many. And then what's also happened, which I absolutely detest, because they've made it redundant. They have humans that, they have like people that will scan your food and then they put it in the basket and then you take the basket to a machine and go pay. So there's no sort of like interaction. Like if I line up to a person, I want my transaction finished with the person. I want to give them the money. I want to have that interaction with the human being. I use self-checkouts, but I tend to use it when I don't have tons of shopping. And I don't mind packing, but a few years. I mean, we had we had them here. And I know that I saw them back in the UK before I even left. Like, self-checkouts are a new thing, but they were usually like an alternative. And the UK self-checkouts, when I was living there, were always like, they used to be like, you know, five items or less or something. There was supposed to be like a fast queue when you're not wanting to buy much. Not doing like your fucking weekly shop. But in Japan now, they've just seemed to phase away now. And even the convenience stores. When you go to the convenience store now, you stand in front of the counter and the clerk or whatever scans your food or whatever you're buying, and then they just push stuff on a machine. They don't need to speak to you. They don't even say how much it is. You just, you, you get a machine, a robot voice, telling you how much it costs, and you put your money in the machine, and you do the touch screen, and you complete the transaction by yourself while the person just stands there silent, ignoring you. And it's just like, we're getting to the point where you won't even need to be here soon. It's just so sad. You don't even, you don't even have to speak to convenience store people anymore. I mean, I feel confused whether to even say thank you. Like, who am I saying thank you to? The machine or you? The machine has said thank you to me. I'm confused. <laughs> I mean, I had one person, this lady, once she served me, and she just put this receipt on the table uh, after I'd done the transaction thing and just stood there and I was just like, because it was like for a voucher card and I was unclear whether we were done. I was like, you know, are we done here? Is that the end of the transaction? machine is done but are we done like is it all finished can i take this <laughs> it's just so impersonal now i don't like it oh well that's 
Oh, that's a dead end. I feel like I'm like literally wearing my slippers now, and that's what grinds my gears. Oh, I'm confused about where we are now. How do I get to the elves? The dwarves? Oh, these things. Go away. Fuck off. It might be time for me to stop, I think, to... It'd probably be better for me to pick up this afresh tomorrow. Let's go all the way to the top and we'll save it for that doorway. I think it'd be a good place. I know to help turn your situation on soon. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do, to be honest. My, my focus is right now. I'm just going home and seeing my family. I'm enjoying Twitch. I like Twitch. It, it sort of is uh, my, my, my positive space. That's why I was very, very sad when my laptop was having issues. I'm like, don't take away my streaming. Touch wood, it, it seems to be okay for now. It's a mystery. I think Big Tall is right, who suggested that it's probably just because it's colder now. Maybe the laptop was overheating, but who knows. I wonder if they opened it up and accidentally cleaned it or did something or whatever. Who knows? Because they, as far as I know, they didn't do anything. But it, Touch wood hasn't blue screened yet. I'm still waiting for it to happen. As a misanthrope, I like it, but as someone who cares about people's livelihoods, it may have gone too far. Yeah, I just, oh, I, well, I, I'm not a fan of, I mean, I used to be shy more when I was, I mean, still I'm shy, but when I was younger, but last time I was back in the UK, I remember going to Weatherspoons, which is a pub chain, if you know it. Um, and I remember we all, me and my friend, like, ordered some food, but my friend's just like, you can do it from an app, you know? I'm like, but what's wrong with just walking up to the bar that's like, we were literally sitting next to the counter, the table closest to the counter. I'm like, what's wrong with just walking up there? It's like, but we can do it on the app. Then we don't need to talk to the people. I'm like, this is just so sad. Like, why can't we just go up to the person and order a dinner? <laughs> why do I have to do it on a phone? And like, for me, it's like, it seems more of a pain in the arse to like whip your phone out and navigate all the menu crap and get, order it. Like, just walk up. She's right there. Tell her I want a burger and chips or whatever. Anyway. That's my take for today. I think I definitely need to take my ass to bed. Because otherwise I'm probably going to be feeling a bit rough tomorrow. I should probably... Do I'm going to save again, actually. Just in case. <coughs> and we'll leave that there. I'm going to pop that out the back. 